The late Princess former butler Paul Burrell issued a warning over how the upcoming Netflix program, which will be a sequel to Diana, in her own words. Mr. Burrell claimed Diana's youngest son Harry may torn and uncomfortable about his recent actions if he watches the program. Following his decision to quit the royal family and sign lucrative deals with Netflix and Spotify in the US. The moves have put Meghan squarely in the spotlight, creating uncomfortable parallels with his own mother. The former royal staff member added Meghan appeared to view her late mother in law as a role model and could relate with the late princess. Mr. Burrell warned this may divide the couple which promises to share more insight into Diana's life and for them to be compared. He told Closer, there'll no doubt be more secrets unveiled and it'll show more of an insight into who she was. Around that time, she was extremely paranoid. She believed she was being bugged by the press and followed. She had me lifting up floorboards and disconnecting the phone at some points. Harry has always hated the fact his mother was exploited. And now the same is happening on the very same platform he and Meghan are working on. The new documentary will reportedly include videotapes of Diana that were made by royal author Andrew Morton as he wrote his biography of the princess in 1992. Mr. Burrell added the videotapes are likely to be conversations with Diana's voice coach Peter Settelin and the audio tapes she sent back and forth to her biographer, Andrew Morton. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex quickly signed a multi-million pound deal with Netflix after settling into a new life in California last year, where they are set to produce documentaries, TV series, feature films, scripted shows and children's programming. Harry and Meghan also signed a deal with Spotify to make a podcast and now their latest venture for their Archwell Foundation is a multi-year partnership with consumer goods company Procter & Gamble.